Hey guys, we are in New Bern, North Carolina right now at uh, my brother Dave's house, Big Brother Dave with Debbie uh, and another anonymous guest that doesn't want to be on camera because she's wanted by the FBI. I don't know if that's the female body inspectors or what, but... Yeah, okay. yeah so there you go. There, you, you heard her, so but she doesn't want to be in. What's she witness too? So they got some cool things planned for us down here in New Bern. It's, and, uh, it's about 65 right now, I think. It's uh, pure blue sky. The sun is shining. We got to and chairs out and start a redneck. Here, we got to just give you a shot of the sun here. There we go. So we're going to have a lot of fun here. We're going to film it. We'll document what we're doing. And uh, so Can we can carry way up here? Oh. Okay, here we go. There's, that's Carrie out there. I can blur out her face, too. The city of New Bern was founded in 1710. It's the second oldest city in the state of North Carolina. Anybody know the oldest city in North Carolina? If so, post it up in the comments below. We'd love to hear your answers. And hey, no cheating from Google. Visiting New Bern isn't complete without a trip to Union Point Park, which is a six acre site located at the point of the Noose and the Trent Rivers in historic downtown New Bern. The centrally located gazebo is often used for weddings, festivals, and other special events. This walkway along the river bridges Union Point with Bicentennial Park. Our stroll took in a couple of boat launches, a restroom, picnic tables, some grills, even a fishing pier, and we saw even a small playground for the kiddies. Yes, we would highly recommend this little foot excursion, and you can even go right into the downtown as we did. And do it. Just do it. <laughs> In the 1950s, Elvis Presley and his band performed a sold-out show at the Sudan Temple. He also ate lunch at the drugstore on the corner where Chelsea Restaurant is now located. Ahoy, Captain Jack Sparrow. Debbie being COVID safe here. Okay, we're waiting for a table here, so we're having a drink uh, at the bar. And we're at uh, Pirate's Cove Seafood and Oyster Bar here in New Bern. Hey, honey, look how cool this place is. Yeah, wow. KJ, look up. There's a female pirate woman up there. Woohoo! And check out, she's got the booty. Hi, babe. <laughs> I heard of getting drunk like a fish, but this is kind of ridiculous, huh? Oh, very funny. I love it, though. It's, it's very, so, it's relaxing. It's cool. touch it so I'm trying to be like that. Ah. Uh, my jacket can touch it. Oi mate. Mighty big sword you got there. New Bern has over 150 city sites that are included in the National Registry of Historic Places. Wow. Did you know that, Deb? I didn't. There's a lot to see here. You can see the town did and still does carry that Swiss-German architectural theme. Mm -hmm. The houses are quite interesting to look at. Yes, they are. Definitely different from what we're used to looking at up here in upstate New York. This is the Governor's Palace, as New Bern was the first state capital of North Carolina. The locals and tourists now simply call it Tyrone Palace. Mm -hmm. Tyrone. They offer <laughs> guided palace tours, hands-on interactions that is said to be quite exciting and actually gets the kids active, active fun learning experience. Sadly, because of COVID, uh, we didn't get we to didn't do get it. it. So, hey, there's always next time. We did pick up literature on it. Yes. So besides being the area's go-to hardware store, Mitchell's proudly serves as one of the historic attractions here in New Bern. Founded in 1898, wow. the building is a historic treasure in itself. How are you doing? I brought a tourist with me. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you, you, you don't hardly get any of that, do you? No. <laughs> Must see when you visit here in New Bern. It's got some very unusual hardware items uh, mixed with some collectible goods. Yep, even hard to find trinkets and gadgets. Touristy items as well. So Mitchell's is a must see and do when you're here in beautiful New Bern, North Carolina. Definitely. Pepsi-Cola was invented and first served right here at Bradham's Drugstore. I believe it was back then it was called Pharmacy. Yes. 
uh, local pharmacist Caleb Bradham put together what we now simply know as Pepsi back in 1898. Ooh. <laughs> the main Pepsi logo with a swirling red and blue design was also designed here in New red, Bern. white, and blue. Yeah, by groundbreaking female photographer Bayard Whoop. The Christ Episcopal Church was designed by Christopher Wren, the famous English architect. And because of COVID, uh, the tour inside the church is a must see, but you can't get in now. It is it is free too. It is free, free for so all it is visitors, a must to so. do, but we couldn't do it. And it's a beautiful looking church mm-hmm. from the outside, and they say the inside is equally as beautiful. Yeah. So if you get to New Bern, do that. Do that tour and show us what we're gonna yeah. miss or what we did miss. What we did miss. Newburn was also the first American city to celebrate George Washington's birthday. George actually visited Newburn and has been said to once dance yeah. in the halls at Tyrone Palace. Yeah. Is it Tyron or Tyrone? Tyron. Tyron? Tyron. Tyron Palace. Now okay, so downtown Newburn has a lot of interesting bars and restaurants that you can go to. A lot to. of them, yeah. And we're visiting a few here, and it's a good thing we're thirsty also. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, uh, here we are going into Cypress Hall, which is really eclectic and pretty cool. Yes. What do you think of it, Deb? Oh, yeah, very modern. Very, uh, there's the brick oven for pizzas. Yep, I was uh, filming that. I kind of thought the guy would give me a little hello or wave, but he was kind of probably saying, what the hell are you doing back here, mister? <laughs> So yeah, I'm coming back up and you guys are now studying the menus, uh, wondering what you're gonna drink. And yes. those are just drink menus. Right, right and some extensive and expensive drinks. Huh? They were averaging, yes. Uh, Different. Here we got bomb, okay, photo bomb. Yeah. And the reaction. Mm. Abby likes her beat, whatever. <laughs> He doesn't know I'm filming this. He thinks I took a picture, oh. a selfie picture. He doesn't know it turned into a uh, video. A video. Having a good time in New Bern, North Carolina. A little cool today, but tomorrow is supposed to be a little warmer, so. So we're drinking. So, so we're drinking. <laughs> we're not, yeah, but these are non-alcoholic drinks. There's no, there's no alcohol in these. <laughs> In 1996, the famed novel, The Notebook, was set in New Bern and written by Nicholas Sparks, who I love, and he actually lives there. And did you know this novel was the first ever in America to be on the bestseller list for over a year? I think it was a hardcover and a paperback. And paperback, yeah. Yep. I watched the movie a couple of years, a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, ball my eyes out every time. That's a sad. Out, yeah. yeah, get your tissue. I ready actually for that read movie. the book. He watched the movie. I watched the movie a few times. Yeah. It was great. And I really didn't know much of Nicholas Sparks until I went there and yes. you and Carrie uh, I knew cause I read told several, me and I'm like, wow, okay. Books. So I learned something big time there too. So that was really cool. Yeah. Well, I was uh, walking into Morgan's here. Um, the noise level is unbelievably loud with the brick walls. So we're not going to have good audio. I'm close to the camera now, but once I get away from it in a group shot, it's going to be horrendous. So let me apologize now, guys. Get that out of the way. Sorry. We're at Morgan's, David and Carrie's favorite restaurant tonight, and we're, we're partaking. They can hear me. They can't see me. Okay, so we're going to partake in an awesome meal, and we'll film it too. So here we are, Morgan's, New Bern, North Carolina. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers. I got a fire tower red from Greenville, North Carolina. There we go. 
Okay. Yeah. And Carrie, what kind of beer did you get? I got the Lookout Pond. From me. And uh, Rapino Pinot Grigio. There we go. And I'm, I got a Fire Tower Red also. So. Fire Cheers. Tower Red. Look how light yours is. Really right. Lookout Pond. Oh, you I know. Kind of like a Killian's, but a little richer. Right? Oh. It's got a nice finish. It's good. Rich. I'm happy. Very really rich. Oh, okay. Is there buttery? a beauty or anything? Taste to it is just a lot. Is it amber? Or you never know, hey? What is it, Debbie? Scallops over black beans rice. Okay, curry berry. Okay. Tuscany pasta bowl with shrimp. And the Bears Way burger with uh, curly fries. Oh. And KJ has a black and blue burger. This could be Papa Bear with Baby Bear. <laughs> Morgan's probably displaying their food critic awards. So when we got back from Morgan's, uh, I got the drone out and uh, for the first time I ever did a night vision shot. Beautiful. Yeah, so we're doing a little 360 here around Fairfield uh, Harbor. Harbor. Yeah, looking down here. It's kind of kind of cool to see that. And uh, there's Ooh, David Carey's house. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this. Off Look at deck. that moonlit night. You know, Beautiful. Right off their deck, the mm -hmm. old shots are. And now the next morning, uh, we're getting ready to do a little boat trip now through <laughs> Fairfield Harbor and out to the Noose River. So uh, there's Dave's uh, two boats, a uh, mm -hmm. big one and a little, the little one. one. We're going to take the little one that's circled right there. Oh, well, honey, my mom's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> You're already eating. <laughs> so go ahead, Carrie. Give me, give me a quick... Explanation what it is? It is Eggs Benedict Casserole. Eggs Benedict Casserole. You didn't picture me bending over. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys mad. Don't worry, Carrie. I'll edit it out and post. You won't see it. Yeah, I'm Gina. Yeah. Or Angela. Hi, Gina. Or Angela. Okay, so you might notice some of the lawns are kind of uh, yellow. Dingy kind of little. Yeah. We are in February here, so it's kind of still winter for them, and it kind of hibernates and goes into that. The water is also brackish, so yeah. it's half salt water, half fresh water. A lot of pretty boats on that water. Yeah, and it's nice to relate the boat name to the house, you know, and you yeah. kind of get a personality of that person, whether it's a sailboat or powerboat. Going out to the Noose River in New Bern. Beautiful day, 78 degrees. I thought it was 79. You ripped me oh, off for a degree. Oh, it went up one now. Well, maybe out here. Either or, but it is gorgeous down here. Better than 30 something in Geneva. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so yeah, uh, a couple marinas in this area too. We've got the drone up giving us a little aerial view of us looking down here. Beautiful day. Yeah, that was, mm -hmm. uh, it was nice. Yeah. It was a February, end of February day, and uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't tell from us. <laughs> I mean, Stretching 248 miles long, the Noose River is the longest river in North Carolina, and at its mouth, it is America's widest river at six miles wide. Friends uh, always told us that the uh, waters, we're the last of all our friends to get there, number one, get here. Yeah. And uh, they always said that the water was really root beer and brown looking and stuff, uh, and that comes from the trees. Uh, we won't get into that's a long subject or not. And uh, here we're kind of playing with the colors for you. You kind of see, it's beautiful, <laughs> look at that. Red, orange. Uh, I don't know if I'd go in that water though. It doesn't look inviting to me. No, no we're kind of used to clear yeah. waters uh, where we are in the Finger Lakes here in New York, but uh, still nice nevertheless anyways. Oh yeah. And uh, Dave was scooting around here. And we are back in with the drone again. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we kind of had a little accident, accident with the drone. drone. <laughs> Leave it to me. Uh, lifting up my cocktail on the boat, not paying attention to where the drone's going. Uh, I kind of did that uh, more than you... once. You get you kind of get derailed a little yeah. bit. So there we go. The drone crashes at the end. So stay tuned to the end, and we'll show you that. We're just enjoying this February day. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah. In Fairfield Harbor, uh, on the waterways that lead out to the Noose River, and touring around here, we're enjoying all the houses and it uh, beautiful looks, houses. And they are kind of raised up a little bit. Uh, a few years back, uh, this area got hit pretty hard with a flood. So, yep. if not, the houses aren't up high now. They are building them up higher as we we're going around. We we're seeing a lot of houses getting lifted. Oh, boat <laughs> here hose. we go. Bye, boat hose. <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys what did they even, call that? You're not even paying attention to us. Look at you. You're like, uh. So, Carrie and Debbie don't even care. We're leaving no. Key West. <laughs> Key North. Key North. This is uh, Dave's best friend's house. It's uh, his name is Greg. Uh, we didn't film it for privacy matters. Uh, you know, coming back mm -hmm. to see the boat hose, and you know what? They never even <laughs> missed us. Uh, they were like, "Were you guys gone the whole hey, time?" We were yeah, 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 cocktails. Yeah, the golden hour, and we have a <laughs> redneck. What is this called? A redneck <laughs> driveway, driveway party? redneck driveway party. Woo hoo! Yeah, and uh, right. we're we're gaining members as we go here. So it's pretty cool. It's uh, 70 degrees. I'm into my t-shirt now and our driveway redneck party. There's Debbie. <laughs> COVID safe cooking. Oh, I love <laughs> I just know it's just too We're finishing up four days here in Newborn, North Carolina, with Newborn. my brother Dave and Carrie and this hitchhiker. I don't know, yeah. I can't remember her name. Still away. But yeah. uh, we had a wonderful time here. These guys were great wonderful hosts. Time. We had the upstairs to ourselves pretty much. So, I they mean, fed could, us. could have been I any better. a couple pounds back on. Surf and turf last night, which. <laughs> okay, our last night dinner here in New Bern. Thank you, Carrie and Dave. And Dave. I played, uh, look at My. that, steak, scallops, baked potato, mm -hmm. and a corn pea vegetable. Mm -hmm. And David over there is passing it. He's not feeling quite too oh, well. Let's go just so adventure continues, but these guys were great hosts, uh, and we love New Bern. You're off to where? You're off to? Wilmington is next. North Carolina. North Carolina again, Very so good. we're staying North there. Very good. We're next. Wilmington, okay. North Carolina. Okay, Carrie, got anything to say? Adios. <laughs> 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 yeah, Thanks for the great, being a great host. It was so much fun. Brother Dave, you can't hug me. Can't hug me. Oh, that's all right. Actually, he got sick a little bit, not COVID related, hopefully, but. I had a 24 hour bike. Okay, guys, we'll pick you up in Wilmington. Woohoo! <laughs>